it's just me and Melly today. I've gotten a few requests for this video. Uh, if you don't really care to watch it, I don't even know why I clicked on it in the first place, but if you want to know about pregnancy, then, then, then keep watching. <laughs> That's not a toy. We're going to talk about women's stuff and pregnancy stuff and... <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> She's like chewing on my knot on my dress. So if you guys have been keeping up, I found out that I was pregnant back in June. And before that, I knew that I was pregnant. So this is just gonna be a video on how I knew I was pregnant before I took a pregnancy test. It was June and like three days after we started trying, I felt way weird. A lot of women, you'll know that you're pregnant. Most women kind of have that intuition. These were the symptoms that I had. I was bloated. I was super crampy. Like, the bloat was bad. I was cramping, like, all day. I'd end up taking my husband, or calling my husband, saying, my stomach has been hurting me the entire day. And he thought it was all in my head because I thought that I was pregnant, but really, I knew that I was. Disclaimer, this is not what happens to every woman. Every woman's body is different. So some of the symptoms that I say I had, you may not have. Something that's actually kind of funny is I started logging my symptoms every day because I thought for sure that I was pregnant, but then they started going away, so I stopped. So if you're thinking like, I may be pregnant, but I'm not getting all the symptoms, you could still possibly be pregnant. Day one, I actually got a cold, a headache, and a runny nose. So it is kind of common for you to get a little bit congested and to kind of get a cold. I mean, I've heard that. It doesn't happen to every woman. I just felt really off. Second day, I was salivating a lot. Just kind of like you're about to throw up kind of feeling. And I was just exhausted. So that was probably in my first trimester, the hardest part about being pregnant was how tired you are. I was sleeping all the time. I would not stop sleeping. I would go home, I'd take like three to four hour naps. It was really bad. It kind of bugged my husband a little bit. Ladies, if you're tired during your pregnancy, you know what? Just, just say it's because you're pregnant. It's not you. So I kind of, I would feel like really nauseous throughout the day. I couldn't eat anything. Day three, I was cramping. It was like a bubbly feeling in my stomach. So like just a few days after I was pregnant, I was like watching these videos like how would women know if they're pregnant right away and it's just kind of like you kind of get like some gas bubbles in your stomach like a bubbly feeling in your stomach and you're really bloated and that happened to me all day it was also nausea so i felt really nauseous throughout the day i didn't really throw up but i did get that morning sickness so i stopped vlogging after day three i probably should have kept going i would go on um youtube and watch youtube videos of pregnancy symptoms and I'd be like, okay, I have that, I have that, but I don't have this. So you're not going to get all of the symptoms. Like I didn't have to pee all the time. And they said that freaking urination was a common symptom, but for me it wasn't. I just never really had to. I mean, some days if I drank a lot of water, but that's about it. I did always need to drink water. I was constantly thirsty. Breast tenderness actually didn't happen. So breast tenderness didn't happen to me until like three days after I found out I was pregnant and I was like, holy crap, this hurts. But beforehand, before I took my pregnancy test, everything kind of seemed the same. So it was mainly just, I felt nauseous every morning. I couldn't eat for a few hours every day. I didn't throw up. Thank goodness. Thank you, baby, for not doing that to me. I've only thrown up one time. I would resist the urge so bad <laughs> to not throw up because who likes doing that? It's gross. I would get headaches every now and then, but nothing major. I was not one of those women that wanted to eat everything as soon as I got pregnant. That was not me. I could not eat a thing. It sucked. And things that I loved, like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, oh, I used to love those. Now I don't really like them. I don't really care for them. And beforehand, like, when I try to eat them, it just wasn't really appetizing me, which I thought was weird. I was like, why don't I like this? I usually eat this every day. All I craved was salty food, so I could only eat certain things. Other food would make me feel sick. About three days before I was supposed to get my, supposed to start my cycle, I decided to take a pregnancy test. And I was like so set that I was pregnant. I just knew that I was. So I took it and it was negative, which was weird. 
I was like, that's wrong. I knew from the beginning, I was like, there's no way that that test is negative. I know that I'm pregnant. And so I waited like two more days. And then that's when I took the pregnancy test and it came out positive. <laughs> you guys, it says that I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh. So that is my story. And then I'd love to hear your guys' stories too or any questions that you guys have, I'll put my Instagram right here. If you have like any pregnancy questions or just life related questions, or if you just want to say something to me, just say hi, just DM me. I always reply. You guys are the best though. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you're going through pregnancy, congratulations. If you want to leave a comment what your pregnancy was like before you found out you're pregnant, maybe we had the same symptoms, I don't know. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for upcoming to all the viewers out there, I am giving away free ebook for the first 10,000 subscribers. Click the website below to get your free ebook. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you!